The chant is back, and so are a few of the Occupy Wall Street protesters. I'm feeling great, man. I'm feeling fantastic. Very, very happy. This is amazing. Police took down the barricades Tuesday that surrounded Zuccotti Park since November 15th. The Occupy Wall Street protest started in September. Tents, tarps, and sleeping bags filled the plaza until Mayor Bloomberg ordered police to raid the area just before the two-month mark. Civil liberties have been being, being reduced, reduced, and, and suppressed and suppressed, and at least the barricades is, is one little piece of our civil liberties being given back to us. Afterwards, Brookfield Properties, the owners of the public space, kept security and barricades in place to screen for any signs of encampment, breaking the rules of the park. That is until Tuesday. Thank God for our legal team. The New York Civil Liberties Union filed a complaint with the city building department Monday, saying barricades interfere with the public's use of the park. The letter was asking for the barricades to be taken down immediately, for the unwritten, ever-shifting rules to stop being enforced, and for security personnel to stop subjecting people to preemptive searches as a precondition to entering the park. The NYPD says the park and police felt the barricades were no longer necessary. And now seeing it without, part of my mind almost detests. Part of me says, like, they're still there, but I'm able to walk in between uh, barricade free, and it's wonderful. We have to be smart about how we move forward. It's the only thing that's happened is the barricades have come down. But police remain as signs of an occupation begin to emerge with the People's Library and even barred camping gear back in the park. And those people with the camping gear say they just arrived from Occupy Vermont without plans to spend the night. Still, even Monday night, the camping gear would not have been allowed in Zuccotti Park. Reporting from Lower Manhattan, Michael Hertzenberg, New York One.